Good morning, good afternoon, Tartarian Hunters Australia. Campbell and I are here for another poignant episode. We're about to invite Cindy Roberts to come back and have a chat with us um, after our first attempt at raising funds for our elders um, got taken down. And of course, Campbell and I refused to give in because why would we give it give over to AI algorithms? I don't think so. <laughs> and then we um, we relaunched last week, and thanks to our amazing community, we've um, just reached twelve thousand dollars, which is absolutely amazing. And um, yep, we just want to say the biggest hand on heart, hearty thank you. Yes, thank you. Oh, definitely. Um, yeah, we're going to talk to Cindy, and um, that that would definitely um, go a long way and 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 help a lot. So, um, and also guys, um, the link will be under this video yep. as well. So do, um, if you haven't already, do give and share it around um, as well. Share the video and the link around. Oh, Cause you know, it's been like quite a concentrated effort. And you know, this week in Australia, two really significant, beautiful and amazing um, YouTube clips have come out. One from our soul sister, JCK, with her message from the Indigenous as she was um, on her farm stay, uh, such a moving and powerful um, <clears throat> channeling, I guess. And I just say, if you haven't watched that yet, we'll leave the links below. Thoroughly recommended. Thank you so much, JC, for that beautiful clip. And of course, the second one from Dale Holmes, who an Aussie boy who's been working with the Sovereign Disclosure Space for a long time also came out with a magnificent clip this week. Again, if you haven't seen it, do yourself a favour. The links will be below. Both of them basically mirroring each other, I would say, Campbell. Would you agree? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, and isn't it interesting that this is what's happening? Mm -hmm. Everyone's um, getting onto these same, I don't know what, energy flows, the same ideas, as, you know, they're getting the same inspiration. And, um, yeah, I'm seeing this all, all over the place. So we're definitely in the right spot. Yeah. Um, and yeah, um, I think, you know, we might have to send Dale an email and see if we get him yeah. on for a chat because he's <laughs> definitely um, a wealth of information and definitely, you know, um, you're talking about Australia and all this kind of stuff. So I think you've got to mention his name. So definitely go check those out, guys. Um, if you haven't subscribed to their channels, do that as well because they're, they're really good channels, full of yep. good info. Agreed. Yeah. Agreed. And it's so magnificent. So, I mean, basically everyone is really mirroring the same idea that, there is an inevitable rise going on right now that it all um, started here in Australia and it's all going to end here in Australia, that the Indigenous sovereignty have has risen to a point where, and they have essentially been aware of this and planning for this moment for a very long time, but it's an inevitable timeline, it feels. And we here in Australia, um, regardless of our skin, uh, this the biological vehicle we wear, we are aligning so powerfully with our original law keepers because we are them and they are us. And one thing I love about the message that's coming out all around this um, Indigenous space is that we are united as one people. Exactly. And that, you know, that's never happened. You know, this is what they've spent the last 100 years doing, right, is driving that wedge. You know, you yeah. two, you know, you're different. You're not the same. Oh, you know, division, division, fight each other. Um, and I think we've all just realised how, how much of a big pile of bullshit that was in yeah. the last two years, if not the last, you know, month or so. It's, it's just changing. Things are just going so quickly. Yeah. You know, so if, <laughs> if you're still in the position where you think this is, you know, just the government and there's not something bigger going on, well, you know, I think, I think the next few weeks might change your mind because um, the other thing I saw was uh, London, I believe, um, they had over 10,000 people yeah. in London at the Australian yeah. Embassy, yep. all with Australian flags, all Woo! energy for Australia. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And, of course, there's a lot of meditations on. We had the meditation with Bobby. Um, Medine is doing meditation. So it's all, this is all energy and all focused on Australia. And and, and we're here, right? We're yeah. focused on it too. Um, we, 
we led the way. We were we were on it oh God, what, two three months ago. Uh, so the world's actually the world's actually following us, guys. We're, we're actually doing this, right? <laughs> well, I mean, it's very significant. Um, yeah, so I think just, Sorry, mm, we're in the right spot. Yeah. Mm. Well, I mean, as I say, it's very significant with the idea of the Queen of England dying and obviously she's been the major occupier of this um, continent of ours. So her passing, which Dale suggested could be December this year, um, is going to obviously be very significant. We've been watching the the legal battles that have been going on with our Indigenous. And, you know, the Australian people and the Australian media, like a lot of our full-on programming process, always sort of puts this sovereign Indigenous space over here to the side, over here to the side. Like, you know, they can fight all they want, but they're never going to reclaim their rights or their law here. It's never going to, you know, it's a it's a small little blip in the nefarious plan. But that, my friends, is bollocks. Like, honestly, we are in a spiritual war right now and there is a creator and there is a divine plan and there is divine timing. And right now here in Australia, we're, we're participating in supporting and standing strong against this, uh, well, I should say standing strong for this great, great change that's upon us here in Australia. And, you know, the whole world recognises mm. it. The whole world knows what's going on here. And if you are in the Tatarian consciousness um, ballpark, it's really amazing because coming here from Australia, you really do end up finding yourself as you tear back the layers of false history right bang smack in the middle of original law like you find yourself coming to this like storyline where australia does actually end and begin and begin and end these cycles and it's fascinating that tartaria has brought us here i love that so much because it means we're not here in a sort of like woo 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 spiritual um you know, sense we're actually here because yeah. we've debunked and deprogrammed from history. And um, when all that shit's pulled away from your eyes, you stand here in a sovereign nature, a nation with the original law keepers. It's pretty exciting. Yeah, yeah. You start to realize that everything we've been to told is true and real. It's just an overlay. Yeah. You know, of, of the true world. And the other thing I heard is. Um, a lot of originals are talking about going, getting back to what they call old Parliament House, right? Yes. The original Parliament House of Australia, which is now uh, the the Aboriginal Embassy, they call it. And and again, you know, they put it to the side, you know, old Parliament House. You know, it's yeah. not don't really, you know, you don't really have to look there. You know, we'll we'll go down the news and say, you know, yeah, rights and we're sorry and all this, but we won't really do anything. Yeah. Um. But I find it interesting that. You know, that's an old world building, right? And, mm -hmm. of course, what they did in Australia is they went and they built this massive, uh, what do we call it, satanic structure mm. Isn't with it a just... huge pyramid on the top and it, it's just ridiculous. Uh, and they built this all um, in, uh, it was 1988, wasn't yep. it? So it was our, our um, bicentennial. Yep. Um, and, of course, 88, right? Um, infinity loops everywhere. <laughs> Um, and so what, what's going to happen is the old world building is going to get inhabited and it's going to, um, start, you know, rise again and, and um, destroy the new, the new world that they've um, layered over the top of everything. Yeah, I mean. So we, it, it's again, it's coming back to Tartaria and the old world rising. Yep. So here's, I've just put on the screen, the old parliament house here in yep, Australia. That's old. Yep. And then like you can see with this image here, like the new one, this very bizarre yep like what building done. buried oh. into the hill in these angles like um is right behind it it's such a strange and then right up it's, like in a straight line is a war memorial so it's just such a strange yeah memorial, of it's like it's it's up there sort of trying to you know take power from it you know so yeah. we're bigger and stronger than you um but yeah I, I see something different happening i think i think the old world will rise and that 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 you know demonic structure will will fall yeah and, and of course um, they built it and what they put on top of it a, a blue australian flag which is representing yep. their corporation yep absolutely absolutely let me see if i can find 
sort of construction photos. I always look, but of course they never are. Any, but <laughs> like I'm pretty sure I've looked for this photo. I think there might be some one of the ones with scaffolding on it, and but oh, nothing yeah. there. You know, the whole building's still built. Yeah. Oh look! Look at those vanilla skies. <laughs> Um, that's not old enough, but let me oh just God. see if I can find old Parliament House. Oh, do you mean that? <laughs> is, is that the scaffolding we're talking about? So, yeah, I mean, it's an interesting oh, building. Some, there you go. Construction photo. Yeah. Well, we think. And there's the builder. Yep. <laughs> I can. I don't <laughs> even know. the. All. I've never been deep um, done a dive on the older Parliament House history. And it's yeah, interesting. We'll, what we'll do you know do about camera. it? Yeah, we'll have to do a camera episode. Um, it's the same kind of story, you know, because um, Canberra is uh, a territory because in Australia they had Sydney and then Melbourne and basically they were both cities of about the same size and there was this yeah. big fight that they both wanted to be, you know, the capital city of Australia. So in the end they went, uh, you know, bugger it, you both lose. We're going to build a new territory um, the Australian Capital Territory, Canberra, and so they went in and they that the the um mm. the story is is that it was completely designed. It was just flat, nothing, and uh, Walter Burley Griffin mm -hmm. designed the whole thing, and they went in, and they built it. And of course, when you look at the street design, it's you know the same as Washington, the mm -hmm. same as all these you know sort of interesting street designs we see. Um, supposed to be all man made, but uh, old Parliament House is definitely an old world building. Absolutely. It's just sitting up there. Um, there's some photos. It's that whole look where you just see this big, massive building just in the middle of nowhere yep. with nothing around it, no roads going to it, nothing. Yeah. And they're like, look what we just built. Yeah. Um, so it looks like yep. it looks like that they probably knew it was there and they went, we need a parliament building. Okay, there's one. Um, let's just put the territory around it. We'll build a little, you know, town to, to go with it. Um, and yeah, so it's and it's the Australian Capital Territory. So most of the polys, you know, a lot, a lot of polys live there. And of course, it's it's the porn capital of Australia, yeah. And and um, the weed capital of yep. Australia too. So yep. you know, go figure, right? Yep. No doubt, the capital. You know, many other things as well. But yeah, so it's yeah, it's definitely um, it was like a big stamp, you know. Mm -hmm. Tonk, this is our look at our and look at our, you know, Gematria and our triangles and all this mm, stuff mm. well uh, it's 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 interesting because um i lived in armadale in new south wales for a while and um before i bought my farm and actually i heard a lot of the locals used to tell me that there is um a military installation like that links canberra to armadale that there's underground tunnels and that armadale was always set up which is just like um, very wealthy rural inland Australian community. Um, it was set up as the fallout township for any like disasters here in Australia. So it actually has direct like access from Canberra Parliament House. So that was really interesting. That's before I knew about undergrounds and, and Tartaria or anything like this or any of the darker side of that agenda. But yeah, so basically I would say that new Parliament House is interconnected. I would say it goes as far as Pine Gap. I don't think there'd be, like, I think it would be interconnected to the whole world, probably um, underground subways to the rest of the whole planet or realm, should we say. Mm. Yeah, so yeah. <clears throat> um, yeah, definitely. There's so many stories of, of uh, uh, tunnels. I was talking to someone yesterday um, saying there's tunnels from Dubbo to Sydney and, and down to Melbourne. And so that's, yeah. if that's true, then, you know, Canberra's on the way pretty much, you know. Yep. So yeah, um, that's the thing. And, and I think, you know, this is the Campbell, thing where they're building. I have to stop you for a second. Yeah. My doorbell just rang. Can you believe that? Oh, your door. <laughs> so <laughs> keep talking. <laughs> I just got to go get it. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> okay, we might see a live arrest here, guys. Keep stay tuned. <laughs> Um, oh, what was I saying? Yeah, so this is what they do when they build capital cities, right, where they want the power. They always build them um, on, on access points to the underground networks where there's big buildings. Um, I was looking at, it was in America, it was a work town, and they had the hospital, and I think this is a common thing as well, the hospital had tunnels to what they were using as the mental asylum. And, you know, so there's so much nefarious stuff going on there. So 
um, basically, yeah, guys, it's time for the rise of Tartaria. Uh, the old world is rising, and, and we're just basically going to, um, you know, kick over this program that's been laid over the top, this lie. It's only been there for a few hundred years. So, yeah, it's definitely time for, for change. Uh, Energy is rising. Energy is rising. And the quest for the Crystal City has been put off because of, um, you know, everything that's going on in the centre of Australia. Uh, it's going to be now on the solstice in July, is it? Is that right? So six months' time. Uh, so stay tuned for that. And she's back. All right. Sorry. So she didn't get arrested. Good to hear. No, but I have to, I'm on the third floor, so I have to run down to the gate. I'm right. Got on my booger bear, Kelly. Uh-huh. Cindy, my sister, so great to have you back to the show. We're so excited. And you stand there with old Parliament House behind you. What have you been up to? Well, what haven't I been up to? <laughs> so being from a woman that nearly died and underwater to speak in that Ballina creator spirit, sending me to Canberra. And here I am, the fight still begins for the people. You know, the fight still continues, sorry, for the people mm. and for our children. Mm. Because Kelly, where we are right now is the head of the snake. This is their empire. Mm. These are the decision makers. These are the people that are determining our future right now. These are the ones saying, you know, pulling the strings for all the puppets out there. Mm. But we're right here right now. So I'm here, sister. I've been here five days praying every day unto the creator, unto the ancestors to pour out their spirit, to pour out creator spirit, to pour out creator spirit upon the people, you know, but not only that, to destroy this kingdom, mm. this empire, you know. Yeah, I'm doing definitely, but I'm here. But, anyways, just to let you know that the message got out. Sorry, Campbell. No, you're right. The word has gotten out. You go. Anyways, um, I did the call out several times, telling them this is the place where you need to be. See, people were holding, they still calling all these protests throughout the states, and it's like they're laughing at you. Get here. You know, you want to make noise, then get here, you know, and make the noise here because this is their, this is their house. Mm. This mm. is their front and backyard. Mm. You know, you want to make noise? You think they all want you here? Man, Kelly, mm. Canberra got nothing. Mm. All freedom here. Don't have to wear masks, walk mm. in anywhere. And the rest of the states are all suffering. Mm-hmm. And it's free here. Yep. I'm like, wow, because they all work for parliament. Yeah. They all work for the government. Yep. They can't shut this, they can't shut this state down because they work for the system. Yes. Yes, sister. Yeah. So they couldn't um, shut they don't it down. Follow their own rules. No. They don't follow their mm. own laws. No. So I've heard a bit of talk about old Parliament House and, and about um, other people um, turning up there. Uh, I think they were sort of saying more around the 20th is, is that something that's happening do you know is there, is there uh, anything january, um, sort of organizing right? mm -hmm. yeah in january 2022 is the 50th anniversary of i'm gonna turn this around can i turn this around of the 10 embassy yeah the aboriginal 10 embassy There it is, sovereignty, mm. written there. And 50 years, my people still sitting there mm. in that same space and not in there. Mm. See, when they built their new parliament house, they should have had respect for my people and allowed my people, you know, mm. to move in. You know, they should have handed that over for my people to set up their governance in this country as a sovereign, as the original sovereign people, tribal people of the land. But instead, my people are, are still sitting here in little tin shacks, caravans, 50 years on. 
Justice. Where's Christ. the justice? Mm. You know? And then the, they built a new parliament house and, and didn't even invite you you in they just kind of said oh you can have the old one we're moving out well we don't I mean, know they it's gave just, the window and own the old one they're still theirs see the reason why they had to build their new one is because I, the old one is owned under the monarch so they established their corporation uh, and they couldn't they couldn't they couldn't do well what is it called they had to relocate under the mm -hmm. new fake seal mm -hmm. so they established and built yep. their new corporation parliament house up the back overlooking the entire city. Oh. See, they had no jurisdictions in this building because it was owned by the Queen. Mm. There's rumours, Cindy, mm. that the Queen um, might be declared dead in December. What would that mean? It means that she's dead. <laughs> With that, um, as far as the prophecy goes, though, with the sovereigns rising and taking back this nation, that would be a significant moment. Sister, if the queen dies, then all this year falls to the ground. Yes. yes. It crumbles. Mm. All the corporations, all the world. There's no monarch. Mm. Mm. That means that they have no jurisdiction. We take back our lands. Mm. But from right now, Kelly, where I am right now, we the people need to unify. We need to come together in unity and solidarity and as one people, yeah. like Creator has told me. Mm -hmm. Because see, this building is for the people's governance. With my people in the center, you know, and the and and the states nominating their representatives from each of these states to sit down with our people, you know, and establish a new governance, people's governance in this country, you know, because it should be about the people, you know? Yeah. Working, not complying, you know, and, and working, um, not even working, what do you call the word? It, it's just, and coming out of their system, mm. they're corrupt, corporate mm. system of slavery yeah and control tyranny treason genocide and the people taken back their freedom and their rights and my people taken back their freedom their rights and our tribal rightful lands you know that all who dwell upon them they'll be under you know the sovereign you know, people of those tribal lands. Cindy, there's so much great information that came out this week um, from various people in Australia that are part of our community and we have a lot of respect for them. And they've all come out with the same message, which is um, this is an inevitable timeline. We're, we're only minutes away that there's 47,000 years of wisdom versus 200 years of deception and that the power in the ancestors and original law is inevitable, that the creator will put it back in, um, in position of law keepers, wisdom givers, and basically overseers of this continent of ours, that we are, we, it's inevitable. It is happening as we speak. Yahweh. Yahweh. Yeah. Yahweh, my sister. Mm. You know then what? We can all feel the energy rising. Mm. A spiritual being come to me last night. And I want to share this because the world needs to know this. A spiritual being came to me. Not only that, Creator showed me a vision confirming th three times of the place where I needed to be right now and was here. Mm. I cried because I seen the vision when I was young. Creator gave it to me. As I got older, Creator showed me. The other day I was in the caravan, I woke up and Creator showed me the vision that I was here. This is the place. This is the place where I seen Moses in the mm. vision. And mm. Moses was addressing millions of people, thousands of people. I don't know, but it was it was just numbers, you know, you could see beyond. And when Moses turned around, Moses was me. My, his face was me. Mm. And the third one showed itself here. The third vision Creator showed me was here. My sister told me, you know what three times is? It's confirmation. It's going to mm -hmm. happen. It's coming to pass. Mm 
Mm-hmm. That's how I know. So when she told me that, it was confirmed from my sister here, died today. And another thing, that spiritual being spoke these words that stood beside me last night. i got to tell you what happened. Mm. The spiritual being come and stood in the, in the old rundown caravan I'm camping in down in Karamberry at the Aboriginal Ten Embassy. Anyways, um, when it spoke, it spoke in a language, this language, and it said these words, Helloem, 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 E-L-O. Helloem. Helloem, yeah, something mm-hmm. like that. Anyways, I asked that spiritual being, I said, who are you? You know, why have you come? And what is this language you speak? And shook the bed. Wow. <laughs> I just went quiet. Wasn't afraid. Just out of gutter, my out of respect, I went quiet. When I woke up this morning and started praying to the creator, and showed me and told me that the creator was with me, mm. that the universe was with me. Mm. Anyways, I rang up my sister to wish her happy birthday today because it was her birthday. And I said, sis, I said, this spiritual being came last night. And I said, he said these words to me. I said, can we Google them? Them words are Hebrew mm-hmm. for God. Yep. Yeah. I never knew that. Mm. I didn't know until I Googled them. I'm meant to be where I'm meant to be right now, wow. Kelly, for the people. Mm. I'm the chosen one, Mebangari, a woman eagle, a chosen child of creator for the people. Mm. I'm allowing and, and the so creator. Many... Oh, sorry. You go. go on, Campbell. Speak, my brother. I was just going to say, are there many people up there with you at the moment? Um, have you just gone there by yourself? Are there people gathering? I started by myself with only uncle and aunt, um, uncle and sister here and, a, and another mob down camp. But it's growing. They're all coming. Mm. Right. More and and, more and coming. so this is definitely a call out, guys, to anyone uh, who feels the call. Um, Canberra, yeah. um, head there. Um, oh, Obviously, you know, we had another call out, but things are changing so quickly. But I think, you know, what Cindy's saying makes perfect sense. You know, it, it is the head of the beast, right? It's mm-hmm. And apart yeah, from yeah. that, it's free, right? Mm-hmm. Of course, right? Because all the, all the pollies are there. They don't want to follow their rules. Um, so, yeah. Um, we maybe, come to, maybe so the people a, a come to them. Destination. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Why better that? What better? If why not? Why, Campbell? Why not? Let's go. They come into our homes. Let's come into this. Yeah. Yep. We know how to make them. Exactly. You know how to make noise? You take their buildings. We're not going to hurt nobody, dead entity. So the people, by the people, by the millions, we take the buildings from the inside out. What you reckon, brother? Mm. They can't stop yeah. the people. Then you watch them want to sit that. down. Let's talk. Right. Let's talk. Mm-hmm. Let's talk. It's like, no, we're not talking with you. We're here to shut your kingdom. You know, we're here to dismantle yeah. you, to shut your government down, abolish your laws, and be rid your constitution. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's why. No more. See, we had a million people, a million people on the streets of Australia uh, two weeks ago. Imagine if we could get 10% of that mm-hmm. in no, Canberra, 100,000 mm-hmm. people. Yep. What, what could they possibly do? We could, we could just take over the parliament and that would be it. Yep. That would be That's it. That's right. That's right. And you watch them. You dismantle it. And the thing about it, the, the, the thing about it is that the call has gone out all over Instagram. Mm-hmm. So if you want to, I got there's an Instagram there where I share. I do a live about, you know, the groundwork, what's going on on here. So if anybody don't know my Instagram, it's widgible underscore Dubai. Um, if you don't know how to spell widgible, it's W-I-D-J-A-B-U-L underscore Dubai. D U B A Y, yeah. and then you know what I'm doing. First in on the ground, Cindy Roberts, Mebangari, woman eagle, coming at you, tribal sovereign woman, 
of the land, bringing you first-hand news. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yeah. I'm so excited because yeah. I know, I know my sister what's happening right now. Like this no is way. happening. No matter what it, what the media reports on it, no matter what conflicting information bullshit goes through the news, this is happening. Australia is on the brink of true original law again. And what we're yep. participating in now, what our community is participating in now is breaking down the deception, is tearing the deception out of their eyes, breaking down the programming. Understand that yep. the last 200 to 300 years has been one massive worldwide deception. And that- Oh, we, Kelly. Yes. Yeah, let me, let me tell you this. Go. And not only that, your mob, all the protests now are, are money driven. There are people in there that are calling these protests to keep you away from Canberra. You know, mm. they are being paid yep. to keep you away from the empire. Yes. From, okay. you know, from the snakes, from the snake, you know, from the snake's head, their kingdom, their empire, their fortress, their everything. See, these protests now, Kelly, are, are political driven, mm -hmm. money driven. Look at all the, look at the people on there all speaking. All running for politics. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. we don't want we don't want politics. We want mm -hmm. people's power. Absolutely. We want people's exactly. power. We want that system abolished. I, I this is a message to all of you out there. Boycott the elections. Mm -hmm. Do not comply. Mm -hmm. Dismantle the system. Mm -hmm. You know? And let's take back this country for the people. Freedom. Fuck yeah. Woo! Liberty. Totally. Yeah. It is There's time. Been so much talk it about is. that, that everyone's suddenly becoming political. You know, yeah. All these big, um, you know, YouTubers and and Instagrammers and people on social media yeah. have got, you know, a lot of them yeah. came out of nowhere and, and now they've got huge audiences and suddenly it's all about political parties. Vote yeah. for We don't want yeah. more of the same. We're trying to destroy that, guys. More of the same will give you more of the same. We're yeah, done with that right. system. It's, it's a scam. And Campbell, look at your little black tribal, widgeable little sister sitting here, sovereign to the <laughs> land, sitting here waiting for the millions to come <laughs> to take the head of the snake down. To oh, they're coming, little... Cindy. They're fucking coming, man. Yeah, check they out. They are coming. <laughs> sure. I think you got the right you got the right jump from there, Cindy, for sure. <laughs> yeah. I mean, all you gotta do, what they gotta do, Kelly and Campbell. They stand with their sovereign sister mm. and let's get this right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's do this for the exactly. people, but not just for the people. Let's do this for our kids. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's do this yeah. for the yeah. people. Yeah. coming for, for the your future. kids out there. Yeah. My kids, your kids. So let's do this for the future of the next generation and the next generation. Mm. Let's fight for them. Mm -hmm. So if not, do if, if let's, you do let's not do it for ourselves, let's do this for our kids. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I worry for our kids mm, yeah. and the mothers, you know. I do worry for the mothers and fathers, but what I'll, I'll say this, the decision we make now determines our tomorrow and our future. Yeah. So my message to exactly. Australia is get up, stand up for your rights, fight for your freedom, and let's take back this country, shut down this regime, dismantle this corporate government, you know, Fuck yeah, Cindy. Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, like once you realize that all of history has been a deception and if you haven't taken that, <clears throat> that juice yet, you have claimed your sovereignty and there's no going back, people. And the next stage, the next chapter in that sovereign action is to stand here with our original people and tear this system apart. We absolutely do not want to be governed by any Australian political party. We right, say sister. no to politics. That's right, the sister. Yes. See, a lot of these people, a lot of these mob have asked me to join with them, you know, yep. but I don't work for them. I work for the creator. Yep. I work for my ancestors. Yeah, well, sister, I stand for the people. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't, I, I do not comply. I will not work for, I don't want to be a part of this system, but dismantle it, tear it down, trample on it. Oh, I just want to, wow, I just. 
feel that fire. And let's sister. do it like with good energy, right? <laughs> Get up there because Cindy is lonely, but um, you know, let's don't, don't go up there. I got a, a couple walk, of friends. They ain't lonely. I got one sitting next to me. Come <laughs> say hello. Got someone there. Yeah, come say hello. Come and meet your um and get your up there loyal with, with Australian your, subjects. Take your instruments. Now this is Mandy. This is another sister that's travelled up from Moreland. Is it Moreland? Yeah, Moreland. Um, Near Port. Mandy. Mandy. She's Hello. come for the fight. Yep. Excellent. Then we've got a couple of brothers all guys, up their camps down there that have more. come for the fight. Mm. It is nice. time. It is time. I can say so that guys there, get up there. Yeah. And obviously. Think of supplies as well if you're going. Um, you know, take as much water and stuff as you can. Food. Well, there's a poster. There's a poster that went up on social media when they first did it. I was a bit concerned because my name went on the poster, Widgeable underscore Dubai, and I was worried and I was concerned about my reputation and 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 being in arms way. You know, because government seeing that, it's like, you know, I didn't want, I didn't want that upon me. But I'm too late. <laughs> it's out there for the convoy. The, the poster well. going around Campbell, the convoy to Canberra, mm. you know, all because of one little sister yeah. sitting mm. down here singing wow. corroboree every day and praying unto Creator and unto the ancestors, and they're coming mm. slowly but surely. Awesome. You know, we'll find coming. that and repost that. We'll find that poster and get it on Telegram. <laughs> um, but it just shows you guys. You know, um, when you follow, you know, whatever you want to call it, the creator, your heart, your intuition, and, and you you step out in faith and in power, like you can change the world. Yeah. Right? This is this is Cindy's just decided enough is enough. I'm doing it. I've been called. And there she is. And and she's going to do it. Um, and so yeah. if you want to join, guys, if you want to be part, if you again, if you want something good to tell your grandkids, get up there and take the country back. Yeah. Get out yep. there. Um, you know, take your tents, take yep. your vans, you know, stock up on food, instruments. Yep. Get out there and and yep. you know, have a have a party, you know, like have no, no party. Fun. We're gonna this we have awesome, a right? <laughs> we have a <laughs> Not, <laughs> no parties. <laughs> no, this is this is yeah. um poignant. Cindy's frozen. She's frozen, but I was just sort of saying, don't, don't go up with like an aggressive thing. Right? Yeah. This is a t is the fall, but it's just, it's something that's that's good, you know. Like it's 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 an empowering, righteous anger kind of thing, not a and it, and it lets attack the system. It's look, the system's falling, and we're here to create the new one. Absolutely, Come on, and <clears throat> we'll get her back. And what's amazing is that um, you know, like one big big massive part of all this, like the biggest is actually um, breaking down the programming, breaking down the programming, breaking down the programming, breaking down, and then one massive part of that programming, the next chapter for us and the one that Cindy's embarked on and is leading the way is after you've broken down the programming, you have to break down the idea that you can't fix it. Like you have to break down the programming because it's another program, but you're just one little itty bitty human being. What on earth can you do? Like what is, on earth is your $20 going to do? What is your presence in Canberra going to do? Like you're just one little person. That is part of the programming. And that is probably the main yep. thing that school teaches you, that there will always be authority yep. over you, that you always need governing, that you always need a controller or a handler, so to speak. Like this has been yeah. a massive MK Ultra mind control well, um, reset. Stuff nothing new under the sun and all this kind of crap. You know, it's always the same. You can't really change it. And another thing that's come out just recently is, you know, everyone's starting to question. It's just having everywhere. Everyone's getting onto the same ideas at the same time. Everyone's starting to question, you know, who is this God? You know, we've been fed this God, right? But if we ever actually stop to ask, well, who is it? Who are we worshipping? Yep. What's going on here? Yep. Um, you know, because we've really got to, you know, start asking the, the tough questions because this is all an overlay this is all a program yeah um and we've really got to wake up and and you know give our power to the creator right we can't be creating new new um worlds and new earths if we're giving our power to the wrong to what we think is the creator but but may not be yeah i mean uh, and, and if, you know we're going to come yeah, uh, cover this that. with christmas too you know yeah absolutely. got all these ideas that we think are real but they're when you look into them just like the buildings and just like history 
it's all crap. It's, <laughs> it's all, all crap. based on just yeah. I mean, opinions. the thing with um, this idea of the creator, I mean, I love that word so much more. I think that's a beautiful word. It feels right. Yeah. The creator, but ultimately, like the reason it's such a powerful relationship to um, have with the creator is because the teaching is that you yourself are of and from and therefore are the creator and that the human being's mandate is to make known the unknown. Yeah. You are to step into your sovereignty within yourself as a creator. If we want to take this realm back, if we want to break down this delusion, illusion, if we want to expand past our version of what this realm is and go beyond what we understand as reality, we have to know that thinking, that imagination, that process lies within us. And this whole notion of needing a governor to govern us as a government, like that is so retarded. I can't even, I've never <laughs> voted. I have fought about not voting. I've had my car license threatened for not voting. I cannot give my voice to a situation that says I need governing. Like, Deciding who my enslave is going to be, it is the most ridiculous yeah. notion. Choosing the lesser of two evils is still choosing evil. I mean, you know, getting along to get along, it's, it's, it's stupid. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I mean, why would you vote for, I mean, we know what these people are, all right? You know, without having to mention the P, P word, you know, everything else. They get busted all the time for... Mm -hmm not obeying their rules for, you know, fraudulent stuff. They're all doing insider trading with the info they're getting. They're a bunch of crooks and thieves and, and oh. you know, morally corrupt people. So so stop egging them on. Yeah. And when they put it, they stand up there and they're like, oh, yeah, we're going we're gonna, to, you know, rule over you and steal from you. Is that okay? And everyone runs up and goes, you've got my vote. Yeah. You know, we, you know, we, we give them the authority, right? The auth and authority, right? The authors, authors of the story. Yeah. Uh, let's change the story, guys. This is absolutely. Um, but I mean, how fast are things changing too? This is like e even oh, three yeah. months ago, we wouldn't have seen it going like this. No. Um, um, I see big things going like happening, and we're on the ninth, and I started mentioning the tenth a few weeks ago because this guy Cliff High was talking about the tenth. It could be. I mean, yeah. who knows what will happen tomorrow? You know, yeah. Cindy, you know, she'll be out there hand-to-hand -hand combating all these fat politicians <laughs> and taking them out. Absolutely. I mean, <laughs> the whole the whole political, I mean, even like, I mean, I've been going to the Melbourne protest because I wanted to add my presence there. But I have to say, like, the majority of the chanting is um, Sack Dan Andrews. And that's just basically like giving their in that statement we're giving them permission to exist like that we're actually yep. saying well let's get rid of him because he's a problem we'll replace it with someone better it's just like no the whole system oh, is the problem exactly. what what I have enjoyed about the Melbourne um, protest is no matter when I'm there someone comes up to me about Tataria like there's this Tatarian mm -hmm. consciousness coming through those put those protests which is amazing because it means that people are waking up more and more and more past that, you know, it seems to be like you go into the politics, then it takes you down the rabbit holes, then you go into disclosure and it takes you down the rabbit holes, then you have to get yourself back up. So you go into the spiritual, you know, <clears throat> and you start to practice your own being and then eventually you get to Tataria and then eventually you, um, you align with our Indigenous, like really super, mm. super powerfully. And we're only focusing here on Australia. Like there is a movement of our Indigenous worldwide right now because we haven't dug deep into any other um, original like um, keepers of the realm from other continents. We just seem to be focused here in Australia. Obviously, we're here in Australia, but the law keepers were what we associate with our Indigenous elders. But like if you look at the realm and the Indigenous that also fulfilled their process and their part to play, basically I would say everywhere around the realm, in every significant continent, there are um, the original people who have uh, maintained and held their part of the the end times. They're part of the of the covenant. They're part of their role in this puzzle that's surging up to the surface right now. Custodians, yeah. Custodians, yeah. And when you look into this, 
this is the th thing is, you know, Tartaria, you know, tells you, right, this is a reset world, you know, where we've had catastrophes all the time. And then you realize most of them, are, you know, well, not man-made, but made by, you know, the controllers. Yeah. And then you realize this is all only 250 years old, maybe. Yeah. And when, when you start to see that, then it, it's a much different story. Then it's like, oh, okay, it's a takeover. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right, we, we need to get rid of them. And, you know, you, you're suddenly looking at it from a different perspective. It's not, oh, well, we've evolved and through time we built up, you know, all these processes to make our lives better, which sort of makes you think government is good and it helps you. You know, when you get to Tartaria, you realise, oh, we were doing really, really well. They came in, slapped all their crap over the top and their war and their bullshit and destroyed the world in about 200 years. Yeah. We need to get rid of this. Yeah. You know, it's a completely different um, mindset. And this is what's happening, you know, and this is happening fast and this is what they fear. Yeah. You know, they fear being being exposed. And once we all understand that that's, they've just come in and literally taken over, you know, they haven't ascended, you know, through history and generations like they want us to think, none of that, nah, once we find out, then that's it. That's game over. Yeah. Because then we know they're just people who have come and invaded right yeah they're they're in an occupying force and like yeah. it's really yeah i mean it's it's really interesting because this rise that we um we are part of like we can't just say we're, we're standing beside it because we're actually part of it and um this rise that's happening it's happening like as an uh, inevitable timeline and it feels to me that um, this is like literally the hero's journey playing out. I think Dale referred to that as well, but it does feel like the hero is this sovereignty coming through our original people and us aligning with that energetic and uniting, that the original people's energetic is unification. It is love. It is caretaking of the planet. It is the realm. It is caretaking of the mother. It is caretaking and the resources be loved and shared. You know, I deal, as we know, I do regenerative agriculture, like, but that's only um, a secondary solution to a very corrupt um, occupying agricultural agenda. When, if, when that's aligned with yeah. the original people again, then it is a no brainer. Of course, you farm and take care of the environment and provide for all. This whole notion of property ownership and these like squiggly little lines that have been carved up or like all around the realm, like and allocated different like price ranges that that's got to go. Like as we um, provide our own land here and we, we move on to the land, we will pass them down in the spirit of the mother as caretakers, as legacy caretakers. And man, oh man, like there's no other option. You can't get to this part of the journey with Tartaria and not get past um, the bullshit, past the illusion, and then into your own personal journey with sovereignty and our original people, wherever you are in the world. Yeah, and of course the originals are the law of the land, right? And we know that this is half the illusion. It's, you know, the law of the sea has been wiped over the top, so we need to get back to the law of the land. And of course, you know, wherever you are, uh, um, you know, support the, the originals of your area because we know not just now, but for the last two, three hundred years, they've been having a pretty hard time. And and um, we all could have done more. You know, we all bought the lie. We all bought the illusion. Um, so now, you know, it's time to join. And yeah, so definitely support your originals. Um, you know, if you don't know them, find them, talk to them, find out their story. Um, and yeah, let's yeah. do this. Let's just return this yeah. this world to what it's supposed to be. Because this is the thing: we're not we're not we're just getting rid of of the 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 what's not supposed to be here, mm -hmm. and getting back to where we're supposed to be. It's not like we're changing something. They changed it. We're just getting back to what it should be. Yeah, and um, I think. <clears throat> Yeah, no, finish camp. I was just going to say, I think, um, I think that uh, basically it is us, 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 the non-Indigenous in this biological vehicle, that by actually getting to this point where you've broken through all the bullshit and the school programming and you're aligning and you're unifying with our original people, it is us that makes a difference here. It is us that have walked around for yeah. like what several generations now fast asleep and totally programmable, not our Indigenous. They haven't been the ones that have been programmed. They've had to like 
you know, the nefarious agenda have had to work their freaking ass off. They've had to name, maim and torture and destroy with all their energy because those people are magical. It is us that has to awake from the dream. It is us that has to awake from the illusion. And now that we are doing that on mass and we can feel it in our souls and heart and we can stand there and say, I am a sister, I am a brother, and I listen only to this law, to the creator. Man, that's the game over in my mind. Have you seen, Campbell, there's a, a TV series on one of the freaking, I don't know, I'm so Amazon Prime or Stan, one of them. Um, I just briefed over the other day and it was actually um, a world where Hitler had won the war and the people um, uh, in America are living this out where the Nazis have occupied New York and, and America. But um, what is interesting is the whole thing, not that I've watched it all, but the whole thing is about them starting to wake up to the idea that they've been tricked, that um, America actually did win the war. But it's like it's such a interesting TV show to come out now like it's because you know nothing can work for their agenda unless they show us they've got to show us we've got to see the truth and that's out right now wow okay mm. but it was what like that is that's interesting because that's exactly who we are you know we've just been tricked yeah we've been tricked and that's what was amazing about the tv series because i thought wow we just a little slip of the story like they can they can take out the, the Western um, communities winning and they can put in like Germany women, just a little twist of the script and um, the people are all living out that, um, that reality. And it doesn't take much just to tweak a storyline or, or change a, a leader or change a winner or change a loser. And the paradigm shifts within the reality and people don't know any better. Like they're just living it out. And if that reality had played out for us, it would have been a much harder moment right now than what we're currently in. You know, COVID feels terrible, but like we know why it's happening. We know this is the end of the damn movie. Well, it's the end of the B-grade movie, Campbell. Like... Ah, uh, yeah. We're about to start, <laughs> start the good movie, the real movie. It's the end of the, the crappy projection. Yeah. And we're here, right? We've been talking about this for, what, two years mm. now? Of course, the world's gone crazy. Um, everything's been happening. You know, um, everyone's been asking, you know, you know, so much intel, right? Yeah. Um, you know, people are just sitting down like, oh, just give me answers, give me answers. And um, I think, you know, well, what was it about a couple of weeks ago, everyone started saying, right, get off your ass, <laughs> stop watching videos. Yeah. Um, and now it's, um, you know, who, who are you really praying to? You know, are you really sovereign? And now it's, um, you know, join with the, with, with the originals. And, and now we have a call. And, and, a, and a destination and a new quest if, if, if you, you know, are able to get there and then you feel the call. Um, Canberra is there. Mm. Um, people are getting there. They need support. And um, that's where it's all going. That's the head of the beast. Mm. And it's free. You can even go shopping there without. How's that? Know. How is that? It's true. Know, we right? never hear like about Canberra. We never hear yeah. about Canberra being locked up, locked down, masked, back. It's like we just don't hear it. Canberra is just like, woo, just off the radar. Like it's, yeah. yeah, I mean, and this is once again, like if you've gone along with these mandates and you've gone along with this whole process, you'll be feeling pretty fucking pissed off right now. Like it's starting to get really freaking well, annoying and I haven't gone along with anything. And, you know, if you have weaved and dodged your way through this whole process, you know, I'm pretty sure everyone's ready to claim their sovereignty and get through this bullshit. Like, by the way, that TV series is called The Man in the High Castle. Just so you guys, if you want to go check it out, just for a, like a few um, episodes, just so you can see how effortlessly the story could have been tweaked, mm -hmm. how this literally is a movie that has script writers and that it's written in advance and, and everyone's playing out their role. And isn't it interesting, as we start to be conscious of this being really conscious of this being a movie worldwide, that they actually shut down Hollywood. How metaphoric is that? And that actually all the Hollywoods are basically um, like fully, um, you know, questionable now and arrestable now and potentially dead by now. We don't know. And that when they reintroduce Hollywood in whatever form it takes, it's going to be telling the stories of like the truth. It's going to be telling the stories. What's going this, on? Exactly. And by that time, our sovereign law keepers will be back in their position Um caretaking these lands all around the realm, all around the realm. 
if you don't align with their energetic, you know, you haven't gotten it yet. If you don't align with their energetic, you like you, you wouldn't even be on this call. You wouldn't even be listening to this. No, you, yeah, you wouldn't be, but you've definitely chosen the wrong side. You've chosen to be ruled if, if you haven't chosen freedom, clearly. Yeah. Um, so it's, it's time to choose and time to take action and, and stand up in, in sovereignty and understand it's, you know, this is we the people, right? Us, all of mankind um, against the oppressor. It's not, there's nothing else. Yeah. No race, no color, no creed, no, you know, buddy, whatever financial you know, levels, nothing. It's just us against these people who wish to destroy our, you know, our um, reality down here. Um, and that's it. Yeah. And the time is definitely now. Yeah. You know, um, yeah. It, it's time. Let's just get this done. I'm, yeah. We're all tired. And how pissed off would you be if, if you had a, a shop in Melbourne, you know, and then you realise, yeah. oh, okay, so if, if my shop was in Canberra, I could have been trading these yeah. two years with and making more money because where are all the politicians? Where have they been the last two years? They're yeah. all in Canberra. Yeah. Because yeah. they've all got houses yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. When it gets tough, they all run to Canberra, you know, yeah. do all their nefarious stuff and, and they act, they just live their not lives normally. And we're all out here getting locked down. Uh-huh. Right? Love- it's happening everywhere. We've seen, you know, seen it in America and the UK that the yeah. politicians are not following the rules. Look, if the if the UK Australian embassy can get ten thousand people out the front, fucking hell, we can get ten thousand people to old Parliament House. Come on, yeah, I know we're a bigger yeah. country, I know we are, but we can do this. And look, Campbell and I are going to stand here, like passing on the information. That's part of our role. That's what we can do right now. So, and everyone can do something, but just do something, just do anything, just make contact. <laughs> with the make contact with your community make contact with people supporting them just like do something anything because what mm. you're saying to the universe is i give my attention my energy my my um allegiance to my intention to my this people. cause and there is one law and there mm. is a creator and we do need to understand it and we need to live by it like that's the facts here like this is not like <clears throat> You know this this stuff like the original law and the orig- the the sovereignty of a nation and of a realm. This is not stuff that like is getting written by the nefarious force. This stuff isn't um, you know twisted and fucked up and deluded and illusioned and, and like messed up. Like it basically states you are free and we are united as one consciousness. That's it. Yeah. And do, do no harm, right? That, that's just, just just treat people like you want to be treated. It's not hard. That's it. That's the rule. No paperwork involved. You know, you don't have to sign here, right? You don't have to sign there. You don't have to get bloody licenses and all this kind of crap and pay to breathe and pay to drive your car that you paid for on your road that you paid for. Mm-hmm. You know, all this middleman bullshit, stealing, you know, the wealth by doing nothing. Mm-hmm. You know, so they can sit on their bloody fat asses and tell us what to do. Um, no, that's that's gone, guys. It's over. It's that's over like right Claus. now. Let's just yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Let's give ourselves a good good Christmas present. You know, yeah. And while we're in there, we'll dump Santa Claus with them. I mean, that's a Pretty pretty good Christmas present to give someone is actually to like find and like compile sovereign law teach people about mm. sovereign law have um have a present a gift that is pa- like passing on wisdom and information about sovereign law and i just like that to me is a use of 2021 christmas holiday cheer so campbell and i are going yeah. to be here and we will report with cindy as this movement um grows and and i have no doubt campbell i have no doubt that cindy's standing there putting her feet on that ground it's going to grow and grow and grow and grow and and again right how 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 are we right we're we're directly over the target Mm. like i'm not even sure how you came into contact with cindy but this has been happening since we started this show Mm-hmm. Now we're talking to literally to the first person who's starting this whole movement. Yeah. Like the, she's the, the, the instigator of, of what you're going to see happen in the next couple of weeks. 
Because Campbell, Cindy is on a quest. Doing something right. Cindy is on a quest. She's on a quest. A quest, and a quest is the right word for this time in human history. And questers, I guess, recognize questers. Yes. Who have asked questions? Who are now (laughs) questing for a broader truth? Questing for the ultimate information, questing forward, like every fucking awesome movie that's inspired you and brought you to tears ever, ever, ever. So we are on that chapter of the hero's journey where the necro- the yeah. necromancer is about to be faced on the Gandalf facing them off on the bridge in Lord of the Rings. Like that's Cindy right now. Cindy is playing Gandalf right now. And we are going to be here fucking beside her. And I am so excited to watch what happens right now and whatever we can do, whatever we can do. <laughs> Yep, yep. And uh, like, you know, Kelly said, do all, all you can do, you know, if you can't get there, you can't get there. You know, we, we you know, both can't get there ourselves at the moment because of situation, but um, we will keep you updated. You know, we'll, we'll, we're going to be talking to Cindy um, whenever she wants to talk and getting this out there. So please, you know, pass this info around, pass this video around. Of course, the link below is, uh, or the link is below for donations, you know. Yep. Yep. Uh, so now more than ever, guys, mm-hmm. like seriously, we need another big push now. Mm-hmm. Now we need because there's there's going to be like a new embassy popping up so yep. food water all this yep. kind of stuff tents yep. cooking facilities yes so please pass that around and, and let everyone know this is this is what we're doing right if you can't be there send some money to support yep. them at least you know send them some food send them yep. something it's all yep. energy even if it's a dollar yes um because like uh, kelly mentioned before you know some people think oh i can only give ten dollars well all those just ten dollars is now twelve thousand dollars. Yep. yep. All right. Fucking That's nice. how you make yep. a difference. It's so exciting. So it's amazing. Guys, mm-hmm. you've done amazing. But I want to hit that 50k. T- I want to hit that goal. First of all, I want to say fuck you to the algorithms to get past what we got before they took it all down. And I want to reach that goal because you know why? Because we're gonna give them Cindy is gonna be there, like able to like bring together food and water and whatever they need shelter and and bedding whatever is required and we don't even know she's basically a legionnaire starting a a legion movement at old parliament house whatever resources they need we're going to help them with that is 100 percent certain so guys like do it give and pass this on and spread the word and get people engaged like this is the time. There's no stepping part. There's no going back now. There's like our history is telling us that. Our spiritual channels are telling us that. The truth is are telling us that. Our sovereign leaders are telling us that. This is the moment. There's no going back from here. There's no stepping down from here. There's nowhere to go from here apart from up. Indeed. That's the time, guys. The time is now. So, uh, yeah, thanks for <laughs> Joining us, unfortunately, you know, uh, with Floss Cindy, it. hopefully she's recharging. So um, we'll, we'll definitely be in touch with her, you know, as much yeah. as we can. Um, now she's got the money to go buy a new phone <laughs> with yeah. a new battery. So um, <laughs> that's, that's one good thing. But, yeah, definitely pass it around, guys, because, um, you know, let, let's look after everyone who, who can get out there and actually um, be there in, in physical form and, and put this protest up and kick these, you know, nefarious, unethical bloody nothing pathetic losers you know let's get rid of them because that's what they are we yeah. know that's what they are yeah. why are we even listening to them yeah why are we even listening to yeah. them yeah. let's just go in walk into parliament grab them all by the ear and drag them out yeah seriously it's all they deserve yeah you know that, that's <laughs> I it like, so. <laughs> i feel like we've been we've been ranting campbell but fair enough like we all need I know, to we've been now. Ranting <laughs> like half so all right we're gonna wrap uh, it up guys thank you so much for um, participating again and thanks for um, getting into this update and we're so pumped and thank you for all your support and donate below. And remember, yep. if you haven't already checked out JCK's um, message and Dale Holmes' message, both really powerful and will inspire you into the coherent nature of what's taking place right now here in Australia. Links below, make sure you share it around guys and we'll talk to you on the next update on Ontario, Australia. Woo! Follow!
Para aí, para aí! 